Hey everyone, this is Big Face from Big Face Robotics. This is part three of the Big Wheel Bot build. Uh, you remember from the last uh, video, I'd rebuilt the chassis. This is pretty much Mark II version of the robot. And now I need to find a good use for this robot. And I think you'll agree, when I was sat looking at this design, it does look a bit tractor-like. And that got me thinking. Uh, I've been looking online that sort of farming robots and gardening robots and I think I'd like to have a go at doing something like that with, the, with this project so I've driven this around the garden, it handles the terrain pretty well and so I need to come up with the, the next step in what I'm going to do with this so here we go those of you that have watched my videos on, on the channel before may remember this, and this was a robot arm that I built some time ago um, I've got a couple of servos in there, some 3D printed gears, so uh, up in the torque a little bit from these standard sort of servos. And I'm thinking I might use this or part of this or a similar design to add an arm to the robot. And what I'm thinking is I might lose the actual, actually the uh, the bottom servo and this gear plate, so that will be gone, and actually mount this onto the robot somewhere and then I can do some useful things with this arm so uh, I do like a bit of gardening growing vegetables and things like that so what I'm thinking is uh, having the robot do a bit of gardening with me so maybe uh, I don't know soil moisture sensor on the end of here or maybe I can add the camera to the end of this arm so I can inspect the ground and detect weeds that sort of thing, so that's what I'm thinking. And I've only just got this robot put together, but I might modify it again just to add this functionality because I think that'll be a, a really good addition to this robot. So, check this out. I've been doing a, a bit of work. I have mounted the arm onto the front of the robot. I had to make a new aluminium plate and move some things around uh, to get this mounted. Uh, as you can see, it will about reach the ground. I'm going to actually make a new new piece for the sort of second section of the arm there, and the idea being that the camera is going to mount on here somewhere, like that. I've had to take the sonar sensor off the front as well. I may I may put that back on. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to need to see what, what sensing capabilities I'm going to, I'm going to have on the robot uh, for the next step. Uh, I'm also tidying up the wiring. So I've uh, bought one of these nice enclosures. So uh, I'll have the lid on like that. That's all done. That's a work in progress. I'm going to have to uh, rebuild the Arduino Nano board uh, to add... Oh, it's a bit small this one now. I need to add some more connectors on there. And I've sort of run out of space, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rebuild that. That's gonna be the next job. Uh, you can see I've got plenty of space in this box. Motor drivers mounted and the uh, accelerometer. And my plan at the moment is to mount the Raspberry Pi actually to the lid of this. And uh, there's plenty of room in there. And I can take the lid off if I need to access the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, Ethernet port or whatever to uh, to grab some data and yeah that's where I am with this at the moment I think it's going to look quite neat uh, when it's all done be nice to hide all that wire in a way and, uh, and the arm on the front's looking pretty cool that's how I'm going to probably get a moisture sensor and some other things to mount onto the the front of the robot so. Uh, I'll be back when I've uh, done a bit more, a bit more wiring and built the new uh, circuit. So I've been pretty busy the last couple of days on the big wheel bot. Uh, you can see I have extended the uh, arm lower section, and I've got the camera mounted up there. The idea is this camera is going to look at the whatever is on the end of the arm, and can also be used for, for gathering images as the robot drives around. So that's all done, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I've also managed to squeeze all of the electronics 
into this uh, enclosure here. Uh, you can see I've rebuilt the Arduino board uh, for the extra connections. Got the uh, MPU 6050 module in there and the motor driver. The Raspberry Pi is mounted on the lid of the box. It just about all squeezes in if I'm careful. Uh, into the box. Uh, I'll just leave that like that for now. And there we go. See, it's uh, looking pretty nice and neat and tidy now. And uh, yeah. So, next job, a bit of software modifications on the robot and on the controller because I'm going to want to send some more commands from the other joystick for controlling the robot arm in remote control mode so I'll get all that working so yeah let's get in there the only other job really is to make something I've got a few of these uh, sharp infrared sensors I've had for many years off previous projects and this was a, a piece of a, a previous robot as well sort of sensor bracket uh, these sensors work quite well if you mount them at 45 degrees to each other, sort of shining the beams across. And uh, I'm going to make something similar to this to mount at the front of the robot there. Uh, yeah, I mean with the big wheels it can drive over some, some lumps and bumps, but it's not really ever going to get over something uh, sort of more than uh, 50 or 60 mil high. And this will act as a bit of a, a sort of bumper. The robot won't drive into anything. And yeah, there we go. So I'm going to get that done and I'll be back. So, here we go. I've made a new bracket for the uh, IR sensors. As described, they're both uh, 45 degrees. Pointing at the uh, pointing out from the, the front of the robot. So that's a little uh, bumper there, but I can also get range information off these. I mounted the sonar sensor on the front there. And given a few bits and bobs a, a coat of paint as well. So there we go. Obviously I just need to um, put the enclosure together. I've also mounted a an RGB LED in the, uh, the top of the enclosure there so I can see what's going on. So that'll be green when the robot's ready and receiving commands. Uh, it'll go red when recording information or recording data as it's driving around. And uh, I've also got the blue hooked up for when it shuts down. So... Uh, yeah, there we go. More or less finished. Obviously, I need to decide what's going on the end of the arm. Um, I was thinking sort of moisture sensors for checking soil. Um, maybe even just a, a coloured uh, 3D printed part. So the camera can, can pick up that and track the end of the arm. But, there we go. So, the sun is shining today. Now this is all working. I'm going to get this out in the garden and take it for a test run. I've modified the software from the transmitter uh, to send the other joystick commands and the software on the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino on board have also been uh, modified to take those commands and control the arm as well. So uh, let's get this outside in the sunshine and uh, you can see it working.
So there we go, a successful test out in the sunshine. Uh, the robot performed as expected and uh, did a really good job. Uh, you could see I was trying to move the robot arm down towards the soil as if it was uh, taking moisture samples and that sort of thing and uh, yeah it looks like it will work. Uh, I also did a couple of laps of the garden whilst logging data onto the Raspberry Pi as I've done previously and in the next video I'll show you uh, what I'm doing with that data. I'm hopefully going to do a bit of map building um, with the ultimate goal being that the robot can autonomously navigate the garden and go and take uh, soil samples or moisture samples and inspect the, uh, inspect the plants. Uh, but that's it for this one, so thanks for watching and, uh, and come back soon.